Hello reality viewers, welcome back again to Reality Latest G's, the home of news and politics. For this channel, we they drop news every day and we they react to every video where it comes our way. And our reality news now we they drop for this channel and we they also they talk on as it be. If today now the first time we say they come across this channel, you are highly welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. And if you are returning subscribers, I appreciate all of you now for now massive support to this channel. I say may God bless all of you now in Jesus name. Amen. I get video away I want to present to Una this very moment. And I go to follow now. They watch the video. After we don't watch them together, make we drop our opinion constructively for the comment section. Like our videos and also share our videos if possible. Bye for now. Anti grazing. Law, I don't have any law in Imo State for anti grazing. But what we have done, we are regulating grazing activities in Imo State under a partnership between our farmers and our headers. They, they signed an MOU in my office and they agreed to work together. And both parties are going about their businesses without interfering or causing any grievance or anger to each other. The South East will have a leadership uh, organization, the PAN organization that is in charge of both our cultural and uh, social activities, the Ohanes and Dibo. So I don't want to speak for them, but I know in Imo State, there's only one governor, and only the governor can order, working with other members of the government, that people should sit at home and it will be obeyed. I don't want to sit here and recognize that there's an any order outside the government of Imo State because there's a government. I, IPOB is not the government in Imo State. The Imo State government has not authorized any sit at home. And like I did said, say here a few minutes ago, uh, in Imo State, people are going about their businesses, workers are going to work, and normal business activities are on. And uh, for now, I told you, that Imo State is relatively calm. Before the uh, end of last league period, we even had a football match between Heartland and Adama Football Club in the night at Dan Ayam Stadium. And people witnessed it all over the world. That will tell you the extent of uh, uh, friendliness and a good environment for businesses in Imo State. That two big clubs like that played a football match in the night. And our people went to watch the match and got home without uh, anybody molesting them. Yeah, the business of government, you know, is the protection of lives and property. And uh, we must act as a government and live up to uh, the responsibilities of our government. So we try to maintain uh, law and order and condemn illegal and criminal activities and make those who are apprehended to face uh, the law. So I think that uh, with the political will and cooperation of our people, particularly our traditional leaders and uh, our traditional rulers, we've been able to, uh, to a reasonable extent, manage control of criminality and illegality in the name of state. Recall that during, at the height of this uh, incident, the prison yard, the correctional center facility in Oweri was broken all the suspects and the prisoners escaped. Some of them are still at the fringes, doing what they know how to do. Why government is also working hard to do what they are supposed to do. So in no small time, I'm sure and almost certain that uh, life will return, normalcy will return completely, 100% to Imo State. You know our president, you know him, he will only encourage you. He doesn't interfere. But we are in charge of the campaign. Me, I'm the chairman of the council. And the, the good news is that the political leadership in Imo, in Imo land will have this result to be part of the federal government, to participate at the national level, to leave a provincial championship to national championship. So what we have decided to do is to ensure that we embrace the ruling party, APC. And we are taking the message to Anambra 
And by the grace of God, a number of people will buy the message and the evil land will be recovered. Now, in Imo State, uh, our people sat for NICO, sat for all the exams. They were, we are not, uh, we were not affected. So, and I don't think uh, that the sit at home worked in Imo State. If you check your facts very well, they will tell you that uh, our students sat for the exam and the exam went on very well and successful. Um, the petroleum tankers, uh, it's all a very simple thing. People have chosen to do things that are not proper. A, a road contractor, construction contractor, not even during my regime, destroyed some part of a gas station, filling station at Cholo. And the, the, the owner of the station took the contractor to court. Imo State government was just a part of the fourth, uh, defendant in the case. Ridiculously. A judge ordered that the most government should pay uh, the contractor some money in excess of 100 million. This case, the most government is not the main defendant. However, well, this judgment was given during my time. What we did was to issue notice of appeal, applied for stay of execution. Then the owner of the gas station having been a tanker driver, took undue advantage of his relationship with the association and got the tanker drivers to embark on strike. How do you explain that? If we continue in this manner, one day these scrafish sellers will come together and also embark on strike. So I know that since the man was wise enough to go to court, I think he should be patient enough to wait until the end of the litigation. So now that we have appealed, he should be patient enough to hear what the court of appeal will say. And then, if it is favorable to us, he can go to Supreme Court. If it's not favorable to us, we can also go to Supreme Court. But the situation where we sit down there, and every association of an association will just threaten and uh, allow themselves to be used by opposition politicians to embarrass government. I would not encourage that. It doesn't take 15 minutes to cross Moody Tuli, Anambra, for people to buy fuel to River State, to Abia State. You know, we have this, we are equidistant with some neighboring states. So I don't think that is something to break our head. I'm appealing to them to interrogate their consciences and do the right thing by ensuring that they do their businesses too. Because by, by cutting the supply of fuel, they are also not doing their businesses. And it's all the poor people who are not able to travel out to buy fuel at the time.